All right, guys, I am on a, a recumbent bike, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up first. The easiest way is to go ahead and just have a seat. Make sure the toe clips are loose, um, but tight enough that they're gonna hold your feet in place once you start pedaling. And what you're really looking to do is if you are not in a comfortable position where your legs extend, the easiest way that I know to set this up is there's a handle right here on your right side. Go ahead and pull that handle up. You're still pedaling at this point. And what you want to do is you want to let the seat move up and down based on how you are pushing with the pedals. And once you get to a spot where you don't move and everything feels good, simply drop the handle and then you're ready to start messing with this piece right here, which is the majority of what we need to talk about right now. There are a lot of buttons on this screen. There's a lot of things from custom and performance and weight loss, manual and quick start. For most people, the easiest way to get this done and have the most effective workout is going to be coming right down here to the green button and quick starting. Now, the reason I say that is because what it will allow you to do once you're in the quick start screen is you can manipulate every single thing that you could have with the other buttons, but you're already starting to work out at this point. So basically what we're looking at right now are the basics of every recumbent bike that you'll ever find, which is gonna be your RPMs or how fast you're going and how hard the resistance is on your feet or the workload in this scenario. And really what you're looking to do, if you wanna manipulate first the workload, you know, just up arrow it and find something that's gonna be very comfortable for you. And comfortable in my world has a lot more to do with, can I keep it up for a certain period of time as opposed to how much can I do before I die kind of a situation. And as you're looking through this, you've got a lot of other options that we're gonna to get to in some of the other videos that we're gonna be shooting, but this is gonna get you started right now. And I will come back later with a few examples of harder workout routines that you can do with the bike that you have here.